uh, is this going to pre- predict whether the character is going to collide in the next frame because we're adding the y speed to the y coordinate and that'll keep the character from actually uh, overlapping with our object so if uh, if neither the bottom right corner or the bottom left corner of our character is going to collide with our walls we set this dot y will collide to false which will allow him to actually move and then uh, after this if statement so first we detect if the y speed is greater than zero which means he's moving down uh, if that's not true if he's m moving we say else if he's moving up or y speed is less than zero then we do a hit test based on the top right corner and the top left corner so our our character is like the square basically and we're saying we're giving the x uh, coordinate position of the top right corner and the top left corner uh, based on our our origin so if we look at our character here Could see that his origin is right in the center. So when I'm providing these um, these coordinates for our our hit test parameters, that's why I'm uh, subtracting or I'm dividing the width in half to get sort of his radius, and then I'm subtracting a little bit because he's got this white space around him. So that's why I'm subtracting and adding six. So that'll give us the top left and the top right. Uh, corners of our movie clip, of our character movie clip. And then if uh, if his top right corner and his top left corner is not colliding with the walls, we set the Y collide, Y will collide to false. And then also we have this final else statement, which is if he's not going down and if he's not going up, then he's not really traveling on the Y axis so he's his y will not collide because he's not moving and with the x uh, collision detection is pretty much the same thing as as the y collision detection except we're at, we're adding our our x speed to our hit test um, to predict if he's going to if he's going to collide with the wall in the next frame so if he is going to collide with the wall in the next frame we set x will collide to true up here and then if he's not going to collide then we set x will collide to false and if he's if he's traveling to the left we basically do the same detection uh, with the top left corner and the bottom left corner instead of the top right and the bottom right so he's moving left so we're going to test his top left corner and his bottom left corner. And this uh, little function here, I just wrote uh, a detection for the, the space bar, uh, which is basically, if I hold down my space bar, he'll just travel through walls. Um, that's just a little, little way of moving around my map easier. So if, I hit, if I'm holding the space bar, I'm setting the x will collide and the y will collide variables to false. So then you can walk through walls. And then once again if our x will collide, we set our x speed to 0. So when we when we add our x speed and our y speed onto our onto our character, it's going to be 0. So basically he's not going to be moving if uh, if he's going to collide. So now if we go ahead and test this, we can see our little collision box that we drew here. It's sort of orange. And you can see that as soon as he gets there, his, uh, his little left point here and his right point. So one of those points is colliding, or is going to collide with our wall as he's moving. So it sets the Y speed, sorry, the X speed to zero. So he's... Uh, 
but the y speed is still working independently so you can see that like I can I can move on a diagonal and he won't get stuck he's not gonna like stop moving as soon as he hits the wall it's just gonna set his x speed or his y speed to zero but his x speed uh, so if he's going down his x speed will get set to zero but it, um, his, sorry, his y speed will get set to zero but his x speed will still be uh, negative or positive so if I'm holding diagonal he's, he'll be moving left and right um, yeah so go ahead and try this out and I think you'll be happy with the results. I'm just going to add one more object here. I'm going to add this uh, this big rock here, just to show you that we can use other shapes other than rectangles for our for our walls. So make sure we select our ground here, and then we drag our rock onto our canvas. And then I'm going to come up here to our walls layer and double click on our walls object. And I'm going to draw a circle that sort of matches this rock. And you can come in and fine tune it a little bit. So I'm going to drag these lines out like so. That's close enough. So now we can see our, our wall object is this rectangle here and it's also this circle here. So now if I test this you can see he he kinda he kinda gets stuck on the on the rock because it's sort of an oval shape. It's not always the best way to do things. Sometimes it's easier just to use squares. And I'm gonna show you one more object here. I'm just gonna come to my other project here and I'm going to take my uh, one of the neat things about flash is if you're working on two separate files at once you can copy images or movie clips from one library to another and you just select the movie clips by holding shift and clicking and then you copy and go to your other file and then you hit paste and I've already pasted them so we can see them here now I'm going to add this tree uh, just to go over this one more time we go to our ground layer and this is where we put the bottom of our object. Now our character is going to be on the layer above it so he'll be in front of whatever is on the ground layer and then on our above layer we put our, our upper part of our object. So here we've got on this layer we've got our, the top of our tree and then on our ground we've got the bottom of the tree and the last thing we need to do is edit our wall object and we need to draw a square for the collision portion of this tree right about there and now if we test this looks pretty good and once you've got all your your walls, you can just uh, can select your wall object and drop the alpha or the transparency to zero, and then it just looks like he's crashing into the objects themselves, when in fact he's actually crashing into that um, transparent wall object.